autonomous creatures. Okay, but first, a message from our sponsor, a camel with no humps. I'm an alpaca! The world is full of poisonous and venomous creatures, but how do you tell them apart? How? I will tell you how. Okay, poisonous creatures, okay, you would have to actually touch or eat them for them to cause you harm. But a venomous creature, that would actually have to bite you or sting you, actually inject you with its venom in order for it to cause you harm. So an example of that is this scorpion right here. It is a giant desert hairy scorpion. Great name. It's a really great it's name. Very good name. Now this particular scorpion is found in the deserts of North America and it, it actually eats lizards. Now, ah, lizards? I know. Uh -oh. <laughs> I know. Don't get too close to me. But these particular scorpions have a little bit of venom in their stinger. So it's enough to paralyze a small animal, but it wouldn't really harm a human. Bigger animals, if they got stung, would be like, hey, that hurt. Maybe next time I won't go so close to this particular creature. Okay, so it can't kill us. Are there any scorpions that can kill you? In North Africa, there is a scorpion, and it accounts for almost 400 deaths a year. <laughs> Those scorpions should be in prison. If I ever see a fat-tailed scorpion outside, I'm gonna stay far, far away. They're cool, but they creep me out, even more than spiders and puppets do. Speaking of creepy things, look at this. It glows in the dark? So these particular scorpions actually luminesce under UV light. Whoa. Isn't that cool? So creepy, yet looks so cool. Yeah, speaking of cool things, do you want to see another cool creature? Yeah, let's see one. So this is a poisonous dart frog. We kept them in the terrarium because as you can see, when they want to jump around, they mean it. Yeah, we don't want frogs all over this place. We don't want frogs all over this place for our safety, for their safety. Now, these frogs, okay, in the wild are poisonous, Ugh. but in captivity, they are not. Huh. I know why. Well, why? it's because of the insects that they eat. So in the wild, it actually contributes to their poison, but in captivity, it does not because they don't have those wild insects. Oh. But these frogs are typically found in the rainforests of South America and they get their name, the dart frog, because hunters used to use their poison on the tip of their blow darts. Oh, yeah. wow. And you know what's cool about some of these creatures, okay, is that they have aposomatic coloration. Oh, let me guess. Yeah. That's when they have cool colors and patterns to make predators not want to eat them. You are so right. Look at you with your smart science back. Yeah, because I'm looking at him and I do not want to eat him. These frogs come in lots of different colors and that bright coloration tells larger animals, don't eat me. Pretty cool, hey? But yeah. you know, there are cool creatures in the rainforest and there are cool creatures in the desert. Want to see one? Yeah, let's see one. Let's do it. So this <laughs> is a Mexican <laughs> beaded lizard. <laughs> Can you guess, is this lizard Venomous or poisonous? Huh. Yeah. Well, he doesn't have a bunch of bright colors like the poison dart frog. No. So I'm guessing venomous? You are right. Ding, 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 ding. So this is one of the very few venomous lizards <laughs> in the whole world. Basically what it will do, it will bite its prey and then in its saliva, it contains venom that will slowly leak into its prey, making it a little easier for this particular lizard to eat its squiggly meal. <laughs> that is so rude and selfish. No, actually, some scientists have found that the venom in this particular lizard can actually be used in medicine to help sick people. Oh, I know. see, sick. not all bad, yeah. not all bad. Does it get its name because of that beaded-like skin on its back? Exactly. How many venomous and poisonous creatures are there on Earth? Well, there's actually a lot. We've only seen a couple of them, and there's still rattlesnakes, assassin caterpillars, this blue-ringed octopus, fire ants, I mean, the list kind of goes on and on. Okay, well, I'm never leaving the house ever again. No, no, no. Listen, a lot of these poisonous and venomous creatures actually don't live in cities where there's a lot of people. Plus, these creatures, they don't want to hurt you. They are just trying to protect themselves. Mm. Don't go near them at night. Space dragon? Uh, there's a scorpion on my head, isn't there? Do you want the truth? I want you to knock me out. Just roundhouse kick me right in the face. You just stop. Put me out of my misery. Stay still and I'll get it off your head. Ooh, it's gonna sting just me. Stay. Are you, please, just stop. Go. Ah!